Hi everyone, this is a really quick video on modularity and cadence. Uh, you might be wondering for uh, your project, like, do I always have to keep creating the schematic um, in this form? Um, do I always have to, if I'm going to make a really big circuit, do I have to do it on the transistor level? Well, not really. So there's a way that you can kind of like group circuits together and then just use blocks of them. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So let's talk about the full adder. So we usually think of a full ladder as just like different gates put together. Um, and really, you, we don't think of it as a bunch of transistors and then putting them together. So what you want to do is kind of create bl these blocks of gates and be able to put them together. And this will make your life a lot easier. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, this is my full adder from my year. As you can see, it's just I, I didn't create all the schematics on the transistor level. These are just blocks of ANDs and XORs put together um, to create the bigger circuit. So I'll show you how to do that. So what you want to do is that let's say you have, I have, this is my NAND circuit, um, and I want to create a block for it. So what you do is, um, so uh, you want to go to create, uh, cell view, from cell view, and you're going to press OK. This is just going to ask for the names. I'm, I'm already, I already have ones, so that won't pop up. Um, this will tell you what pins you want to put out. You don't have to touch anything there, and you click OK. And this will create an instance. Uh, this will create the block for you. Um, I like to move this instance name out somewhere else. Basically, now this is the block uh, for a NAND gate. Uh, and you can see that you can just attach in and the two ends and the grounds, and they would come out the other way. So, you know, this is my NAND. Um, so now if I wanted to bring that into some other schematic, um, I'll give you, for example, let's say... Uh, let's say now I wanted to bring that into to create uh, an AND. Um, if I type in I and click uh, Browse, you can now navigate to where that NAND exists. And so I'm just going to put NAND and I'm going to just bring it in. Boom. And uh, and. If I wanted to create an AND, right, it's an AND and an OR, I mean, and an inverter. Uh, so I just type I again, click Browse, and I go to my inverter, and voila. And now I can just use the wire tool to connect the output of one to the input of the other, and, you know, ground to everything else. Um, so now you can create... Now you can create your full ladder um, by just putting these blocks together. And so now if I wanted to take this apart, you know, I could just, if I wanted to add another plot, I just go to I, hit Browse, I, if I needed to add an AND circuit somewhere, I would just do it there and then just, just make the connections for it. Um, and this makes it so much easier to create bigger circuits without needing to, uh, you know, without needing to do the transistor level. And this also translates um, into the layout, which is much, much easier. Uh, do I want to save it? No. So if you take a look at the layout for my full adder, um, this, you can see that is just a bunch of blocks of the gates uh, put together, and once you create a, a once you create a gate, um, all you have to do then um, to put in an, to put in another one is just uh, you type I, go to browse and go to that specific gate that you want to put in. So let's say I wanted to put an OR in somewhere, and uh, I want to go to the, click the layout. And it just plops it right then and there, like somewhere here, right? And um, if we click Shift F, right, this is the entire layout 
um, put together, separate into blocks. And if I wanted to, I can delete complete blocks of it. These are the connections between the blocks. Um, and so once you put your blocks together, uh, once you put your blocks together, then you can use other metal connections to just bring the input of one, bring the input connected to the output of another and such and such. Um, so really this so you don't have to create the layout from scratch all the time. You can just use blocks um, and just put them together and connect them together, right? Um, so hopefully that that's an, it'll make your life a lo lot easier when you're creating your final layout um, and final circuit. Uh, so this way in turn, then we can take a look at my one bit ALU real quick. And you can see that the layout is, and you can play around with the, the way you do this, but um, the layout again is just is just a bunch of blocks put together. I created the one bit layout. And then for the four bit ALU, it's just a bunch of one bit ALUs uh, connected together and just like several minor connections between them. Um, and so, and then an overflow detector. Um, and that translates to this entire big thing. And this is the way I designed the blocks. You can design the blocks in any way you want, um, but hopefully this will help you get through much faster. So thank you for watching and uh, good luck.